We are ready for some swipey fun. First of all, we've got our little tray here. And if you are very, very, very detail oriented, it is a dog bowl tray. That's why it's a dog buddy down here in the corner. But it is silicone and it is cheap and it will probably do the job that I want it to. So that's why I bought it. Now I have painters taped off a shape, basically a size. The tape is kind of just a guide because not only is it the just general idea that I'm going to cut down from, it is the cheapest painter's tape that ever taped a painter, so I don't want to trust it for anything. But it'll do because I am trying to do a paint skin journal cover based on stuff that I have seen Crafty Jen do on her channel. I want to see how it survives use. So I gotta make one and do it. Right? Right. We are going to use Ultramarine Blue as our base coat. We are going to use Folk Art Treasure Gold Fire Opal. We are going to use Folk Art Amethyst Arteza Pearl Lime Green. Very left over from a different project. Montmartre Black in a teeny tiny amount. And Montmartre White. There's a ton of it, but it's for other projects that also have paint over here. <laughs> and I am going to do this with paper towels, unlike I usually do most of the time. So first off, we will do the base coatiness. Now this shape we are looking to use about three to four ounces of paint. And of course that doesn't have to be entirely our base coat. That also comes from the swipe colors. I'm just going to get in there with my paws like I do. All of my colors have Floetrol, M1, Latex Paint Extender, an additive, Mimwax Wood Conditioner because it's awesome, and the white has silicone. You can actually see the wood conditioner already creating those cells by itself. So that is promising. Okay. Now, as I say, this is just the base coat, so it should be thicker with everything on it when we swipe out. I want to get about the center. Actually, I think I want to be fairly specific about the center of my shape. So about there. Because I want the center of this, in theory, to be the spine of my completed journal. This amethyst is quite thin, but I kind of went with it. Pearl lime green. should be interesting. 
in the fire opal. Which sort of dries in an orangey color, which should be a nice contrast to the blue. In Siari. Now I want a tiny smattering of the black kind of throughout just to give a tinge of dark depth to our white swipe. And it's gonna want to sink here, but that's okay. Because we just want a hint. We don't want to have a ton of it. And dip my toweling in the white. As you can see there. Come to the edge where I want to swipe. And just pull that sucker out. And you see, you may not be able to see it too well here. But that black has given a little bit of black circles within that. But I'm going to have to swipe back over this because it has this big old gap here that I am not fond of. And I want to be fond of it. So here we go with the second one. Boom. That's good. And just pull out all the way to the end. And it is pretty okay to use both sides of the paper toweling. Doesn't seem to mind a bit. Just as long as you don't taint your white too badly. Some lovely, lovely celly, lacy action stuff going on. I like it, I like it. Do like the way that touch of black is showing up in it. I wish it would not miss this gap as it's coming off of the off of the puddle onto the blue. Cause that's a little frustrating. experience it doesn't usually change that much when you're swiping with silicone and minwax wood conditioner and all of that in your swipe color as it probably would if you put it into the base colors and let that let it change depths as it were as the the, the white paint sinks and the rest of them kind of rise because of the density of the paints Make sure you come out and around with the paint that can drip because you don't want it to drip on anything you're keeping. You want it to drip where you don't mind because then it's still going to get mixed and it's still changing in here. But if you want to keep it, you don't want it to get dripped on because that may or may not ruin the look depending on how you feel about letting fate decide your pores. I am getting a bit of blue in my white. 
I can see that. So perhaps I should go to only using one side. Because like I said, I don't want to contaminate my blue too badly. Or my white too badly because I got other stuff to use it for. I think I'm actually going to roll up here with a single swipe up and down when I finish because a lot of this amethyst isn't actually making out, out into the rest of the piece. Out and around. Boom. Come back over. Because I missed a spot. Ta-da. It's really getting gappy there. That's better. I am hoping this is all going to be thick enough to the edges to make an easily workable Paint skin. I will say the base coat was a little bit thinner than I expected. I probably needed to make more. A little bit more. I probably should have actually went to the trouble to know that I made at least three ounces instead of about two and a half. And go from there. Take the train right down the middle. Come back up. Oh, that's interesting. I feel like I got some asymmetry going on. I think I want to swipe once more through this area to fix that. Well, that green is missing. I'm not sure any of us is that surprised, though. Actually, there is one little dot of green. One tiny little dot of green. But it is mostly white and amethyst and fire opal and blue around the edges. Well, there's a little bit of the green right there. Trying not to over torch while I point things out with my torch because that would be bad. Okay, we're going to see how that settles, because it will. Hopefully it'll all even itself out and make a lovely skin that we can feel good about making into a bullet journal cover. Let's bring it down over a look. Here we go. Up the middle. You see all that color mixing. That one spot of green. In the middle of that fire opal right there. Some interesting mixing with the white and the black. Where most of our green ended up. Let's go off to this side first. Some of that is on the tape so it won't end up in the final project. But that is fine. It's kind of hard to tell where the blue ends. I like this right in here. It's got a lot of bluey, blacky, white cell magic going on. That's an interesting spot with the red and the blue. Back over to this side. 
and up we go. See it all those black and fire opal cells. It looks like that might be a touch of green too. It's in there. It's just very, very subtle. So there we go. We'll see how it dries and I will cut it down and I will mod podge it to my existing bullet journal and see if it makes me smile. So stay tuned for dry results. Okay, so this is one of those projects that makes me want to destroy the footage and pretend I never tried it, but I ain't gonna do that. You know why? Because I can't be the only person trying to make purpose-driven paint skins. I know most people make them incidentally as part of the cast-off in making their project, but I like the idea of using them, particularly as a journal cover, if it's something that's pretty, can be made durable, and is thin enough to bend to your will. Unfortunately, as I have learned this time, you must, must, must make sure that your paint is thick enough, because if it isn't, it just sits and cracks and shreds and becomes a big old mess like that. When it d is thick enough and does get going, it comes up fairly nicely. Another bit of advice I think that I would put to you is that you should definitely get some salvage on the edge in case you get some crumblies and terries getting it started. And thirdly, let it dry longer than you think that it should need to. Because although it was dry to the touch, this was apparently slightly still wet underneath, so it tore up and if it wasn't already ruined, would have ruined this piece. Now I'm probably going to keep this stuff and use for another project because I do have a paint skin project in mind. But overall, this is not what I wanted for this project. Because it was supposed to come up in all one good piece and it's coming up in like 17. So, um, yeah. It's a it's a pretty failure. Let 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 let's let's stick to that. Let's let's be positive for once, right? Positive this won't work. <laughs> but anyway, that's that for that project. We still got some okay skins, but need to make sure that the thickness is more like this instead of this crumbly along the edge. So I do want to revisit this project. I'm probably going to just do maybe even a, a red, but probably a white and blue with the ultramarine and the, the white lacing and just do something simple and see what happens with that. Because the next time I screw it up, I don't want to be using folk art treasure gold. Because that stuff uh, costs gold. But anyway, yeah. There's the, the verdict. There is still some prettiness in here, though. These little cells and stuff. It's too bad. Oh, well. Better luck next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.